Hi, I'm Dave Marble. I'm the CEO of Ocean, and with me today is is Dave Porter, longtime friend, actually a neighbor. Uh, he's the director of media and network services at uh, the University of Rhode Island, my alma mater, by the way. Um, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Thanks for inviting me. Um, so you've evolved with Ocean over over the last 15 years, right, or close to it? Yeah, um, probably. 12 years direct involvement in right. one form or, or in one form or another. And uh, just so everybody knows, Dave is one of our board members, uh, and and I appreciate that contribution to our uh, to our board. Um, I want to take a little bit a uh, little bit different tact with you and surprise you with this question. Um, where do you see Ocean evolving over the next you know few years? What would you like to see us do? services more uh, more of a focus on services so mm -hmm. ocean has the infrastructure yeah. by far you know the, the best infrastructure in my opinion around that that anybody can provide um, but in terms of the constituents or the uh, the members of ocean healthcare education um, government I think in, in terms of collaboration and in terms of sharing resources you know, cloud mm -hmm. computing that we right. talk about so much I think there's a few nuggets of value that Ocean can offer in, in, in services that most of the members can use. And, and really use because they're on the same network and it lowers their cost versus going out for other web-based services. And one of the ones that, uh, that we have been painfully trying to get right is, uh, is on, the, uh, on the video side. Mm -hmm. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how we're trying to put together a video service for your uh, professors and classes and so forth? So, so video has been a challenge, and it's been increasing in demand over the past several years for online learning and also just to put interactive um, educational tools that, that grab the students' attention. And we're not talking so much the talking head for, for 45 minutes of the lecture, although we are capturing that as we make this transition, but we're talking about little snippets of value that bring it home a certain point or certain uh, covers a certain item that video is the best way to cover it could be an example it could be shooting mm -hmm. something you know looking at turbidity in the water and showing how they measure it for example um, now everybody wants video to be clear quick they want good performance you know it has to be high quality and accessible and the what ocean and oceans constituents require is accessibility beyond YouTube you know YouTube is open to everybody and you could have private you know, YouTube channels, if you will, but you need authenticated. You have customers in healthcare, customers in education that have FERPA and HIPAA requirements. And uh, I think video is a service that is really gonna take off. And in addition to that, closed captioning, that's another one that I think is uh, very key. For and on the accessibility side, I'm, uh, I'm sure you're also talking about that ease of use for the professor you know, that wants to you know, utilize the tool, you know, but doesn't want to, doesn't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out how to get through the UI and have it just point and click, right? Absolutely. The, the, the simpler, the better. And if it's um, a URL that's integrated with our learning management system, mm -hmm. that's perfect because we can accommodate not only the ease of use, but now putting that content in an area that's restricted and our learning management system is controlling who has access to it. And I know uh, with your Oceanographic Institute, now having high definition cameras down at the bottom, you know, mapping the ocean mm -hmm. floor. Uh, I'm intrigued over time about the storage requirements, you know, uh, for those kinds of things, coupled with your learning environments in the classrooms. It's phenomenal. I believe they're shooting in 4K, yeah. if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And you, you, I'm sure you've seen the, the rows and rows and cases of tapes that they have from yeah. all this, uh, all this shooting. And there's a place, uh, they're, they're in desperate need of a place to archive it, to put it, not only archive, but put it where it can be examined, to catalog it. You make know, it accessible. Exactly, yeah. make it accessible in a, in a way that's uh, easy and quick. Mm. What do you see going on in the security side of, of your domain? Probably too much, actually. <laughs> it's, uh, so security is a huge concern. You know, the, the tens of thousands of, of attacks that we get, I think, daily, yeah. you know, and um, it's, it's an area that does not have enough you know, we don't have enough people, enough security people right. at this point. They're very expensive. Um, we're fortunate that we have a good security officer at URI who's been here a couple of years, and um, he's been developing students to, to help. And those students are leaving for good-paying jobs, which is good. Yeah. But the bottom line is we need to have people um, stay 
you know, right. at, at work on some of these issues. But security is certainly a hot item. Right. Well, I appreciate your time. My and, pleasure. Uh, thanks for coming in. Thanks for being an OSHA member. Appreciate it. And uh, good luck. Thanks. Thank you.